Good morning, and welcome to another edition of Tech Tuesday, presented by Delta Media Group, where at least two of the beams are still intact. So, today we are going to take a quick look at Delta Net 6. Um, this will be the first Tech Tuesday we've actually done entirely in Delta Net 6, and we're not looking at any specific features in this one exactly, but just really taking a look at uh, the interface itself to just kind of, you know, get you familiarized with it a little bit. Um, now, Delta Net 6 may not be at active for your company, um, and it could be a little time before it becomes active, but we wanted to kind of get this out there uh, so that everyone can take a look at it. So, for Delta Net 6, you can see that the structure is a little bit different overall, but really, once you get into a feature, um, that feature works out exactly the same way. So, if I were to go down here to Create eCard, for example, and I click on that, that takes me over to the eCard page where I can then pick a template and follow through. So this eCard interface for now is exactly the same as it was, but um, it's just kind of a shorter and easier way to get there. So real quick, we'll just kind of go over the tabs here on the side. We have Dashboard, which is going to be kind of your main dashboard that has these links up here at the top that are just shortcuts to some quick, commonly used actions. And then as we go down the page, you can see there's some more um, widgets here that allow you to do some kind of quick things that you'll be most likely to do when first logging into the system. Now, this page is customizable per company, as are the tiles at the top of the page. So these boxes are tiles. Um, so yours may not look exactly like this, but you know this is kind of the default setup for Delta Net 6. Now, the whole thing is built around um, workflow and functionality. So if I click on CRM, you can see it gives me the default CRM tile layout. And the idea is that some of the things that you will most likely do from CRM is add a to-do, uh, view your leads, or add a customer. So we put those things right up front so that you can click on them and get through to those features very quickly. So the whole thing is kind of built around that functionality. And you can go through each of these pages and see um, all the kinds of things we put under each one. Now one thing to keep in mind is that you will find the same tiles under multiple headings over here. And the idea is that those things might make sense under more than one heading. So if I click on marketing, for example, you can see I have a new blog post button here. That'll take me straight through to my blog. If I have multiple blogs, it'll let me choose which one. And then it'll take me straight through to the new blog post page. Um, if I go down here under website, you can see that I also have a new blog post link. Um, because again, you might think to go to either of those to get to a new blog post and create one. I mean, after all, um, a blog is kind of a marketing fixture. But at the same time, it is part of your website. So that is why you can get there in more than one way. And now we'll just back up one to listings real quick. You can see everything that pertains to listings you should find here. Um, and then we just looked at website. Everything that should pertain to your website can be found there. Um, social media and then other resources. Um, so the idea is that we're trying to be as intuitive as possible as far as where we put the links to things by default. Now to get to your profile, like you'll notice that the overviews page is no longer here. That's normally where you would go to uh, modify contact information, things like that. If I go up here and click on my name, you can see that I have a profile link. And there we go. So I click on profile, it takes me through to the overviews page, and then this overviews page is the same as it was before. This is where I can set up uh, contact information, phone numbers, email addresses, um, office associations, things like that. Just anything um, that the company grants me access to on this page. And if I go down here far enough, my bio paragraph will also be here. And you can see there's my homepage bio. So that is one of the things that might not be as immediately obvious, um, you know, that we've put that profile underneath your name here. Now the next thing you can do is, with the gears up here, that takes me through to settings. So we've kind of moved settings off on their own. Each of these things will take me to the appropriate setting, or I can actually search my settings if I'm looking for something specific. But the idea here is these are things you'll kind of set up once, and you'll probably not have to manipulate much after that. So you'll go in here, do your initial setup, and, you know, it was a good idea for us to kind of tuck them under this place because, you know, it doesn't make sense for the settings to necessarily be with the functional portions of the Delta Net. So, um, you know, for example, if I'm looking to set up how my, uh, how my blog system works or how MCFL works, that's not the same as actually sending out an MCFL article. Um, so the settings are things that don't need to be mingled in with the actual functionality because, you know, you set them once and you generally don't touch them again after that. So that is where all your settings are. Now, the next big piece of the Delta Net that um, you know, we feel is kind of a big leap forward is the multi-search box up here in the left for these quick actions. So if I go up to the search, I can type in whatever it is I'm looking for, and it'll take me there. So if I type in 
reviews, for example. You can see manage reviews. So that's how I would go in and manage my customer reviews. And now I can add a review or, you know, I have all the additional options here. Um, if I was, if I just wanted to create a new blog article, I can just type in blog and you can see new blog post is one of my options here. Now you'll notice that the post, new blog post is here multiple times at this point, and that's because there are multiple links to it. So what this is doing is this is searching what those uh, links and tiles and things are in addition to some things that we've put in there. Um, so that's why you might see a result in there multiple times. But that takes me through, I would select a blog and create a blog post. Um, if I want to do a, well, if I can, if I can type there, there we go, I want to add a new page to my website, there's add page. So that's the beauty of this thing. I can get in here and very quickly and simply get directly to the functionality I want to see. Um, so that's kind of the beauty of it. So there you go. Um, that is a kind of very basic overview or a very high level overview of Delta Net 6. Um, you can get an idea of how it works and how it's designed to work and kind of a quick way you can get to different things. So if you have any questions, concerns, or as I'm sure you will, we'll be coming out with uh, <laughs> more and more guides that are specific to individual features and functionality in Delta Net 6 from here on out. So there'll be a lot more resources available to you. But if you have any other questions, concerns, comments, as always, feel free to uh, send an email into support at deltagroup.com or give us a call and we can walk you through whatever feature you need. So thanks a lot for joining me today. I'll see you next week. Thank you.